Welcome back to another video. Now usually I don't upload on Thursdays, but I'm gonna have a quick video about the weather system which is available to us for free since the September 6th. Um, I believe it's free from December 6th. I never saw that it was a paid product. Uh, it shows up on September 6th and I believe I got it on September 6th as well. Uh, this is a free weather system that's gonna be available for free probably forever. I would assume if it's already free from the get-go. Uh, it comes with the day-night cycle, random thunder, rain, snow, or water, and water gets frozen into ice as well. Now, in these preview screenshots, you can see the map, and if we go further, you will see that the map covers with snow. Unfortunately, that's not really the case uh, for this plugin. That's a separate thing, and I believe that's also mentioned, mentioned in here as well. Uh, so you're not gonna have those effects in your project straight away. Um, so this plugin does not contain any characters or scenes that's that's what it says the first comment uh, well the first first line of text and so that means that well there's no there's going to be no snow accumulation by default you're going to have to go ahead and make that material on your own and there's already a couple of reviews which made me really funny i am poor user i'm creating give me map free please no 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 <laughs> Nothing's free. Be glad that you get at least something. Uh, if you think this is a bad plugin, you, you're wrong because this is an amazing learning tool. So let's have a look at it. First things first, and I and install this to your engine. Whenever you do, you can go to the plugins and go ahead and enable the weather system. Once you do, it will require you to restart your project. Go ahead and do that. Now, by default, it's not going to be available over here. It does not get added to the content folder. Instead, it gets added to the plugin folder. You gotta enable that through the view of options. You can enable show plugin and show engine content. And whenever you do, it's gonna be available over here. So we can scroll down till the very bottom and near the very end, there should be weather system C++ classes and the blueprint classes. In the C++ classes, there's only two classes, the weather master and the water base. So there's not a lot of code in them. So you can go ahead and modify those yourself. If you know C++, if you don't know C++, uh, then we have some blueprint classes that are getting inherited from the C++ classes. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of values exposed. So there's not a lot of things that we can really change um, during the runtime. There's a lot of configurations that we can make beforehand. But unfortunately, during the gameplay, there's not that many things that we can change in this. Because there's no real uh, variables exposed. So now if we open this up, there's no code inside of here whatsoever. It's completely empty because everything's from the C++ class, as you can see, it's inherited. It's a fully C++ thing, basically. Uh, but in the class defaults, we can change a lot of settings in this thing. Now, I personally don't think you should change them in here. I think it's better if you bring this into the level and then change them for that single instance rather than the entire blueprint. I would, I would think that it's better to just leave it at default just in case if something goes wrong so you can have something to fall back on. But inside of the blueprint itself, there's only three variables that we can actually access that we have like an actual use from. We can go ahead and look for a get is and it should return us is night, is raining and is snowing. Those are the only three blue, uh, only three variables that are available inside of here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, nothing else is really getting exposed over here. Also, we can't set none of the values. There is no set. And if we go like set rain, nothing like that is available to us. Now, probably if you know C++, there should be a possibility to basically expose these variables and provide these one way or another. But for Blueprint users, unfortunately, unfortunately, that's not going to be possible. But this is a free system and we still can learn a lot from this and we can take a lot from this. Like sound effects, you will hear those in a second. Also, the Niagara effects for the snow and for the rain are really, really cool. So you can go ahead and grab those and maybe recreate this system for yourselves as well. Now, let me show you real quick how we can set this up because this is very simple. This is made so simple it, it's it's incredibly simple now what we want to do is we want to go ahead delete delete all of our lights importance value volumes post process volumes uh, well if you have some custom ones obviously leave those but i mean the default ones can go away the atmospheric fog sphere reflection and the sky sphere now you will probably want to remove the sky sphere from your level the atmospheric fogs as well um, because let me show you that in a sec. Delete everything. The level should be completely black. Let's go ahead. Let's rebuild the light for this because it's not supposed to be 
white in there we're not supposed to really be able to see anything it should be completely dark it should take just a couple of seconds for this default template which it did now once we have this we can't see anything so let's go ahead and let's bring in our weather system in and as soon as we do it automatically created everything for us the clouds we have so let's go through this thing so let's just select this weather system and on the right side in the details panel we have all of these things now obviously we can change the directional light components to our own maybe if we have some uh, but here is the directional light which we can edit change all of its properties to however we like then we have our skylight sky atmosphere post process component volumetric clouds exponential height fog uh, the sky sphere, uh, Niagara effects, audio components. So those are our effects for the sounds and the timelines, which basically uh, inform the system how how far the things have been frozen, what is the day night cycle time right now, how strong it should be raining or snowing, and all of that good stuff. Now here are the uh, the timelines for them, or actually the curves rather. Uh, then we have the course settings which we can enable so that it is always raining always snowing unfortunately i i was not able to find how we can set this up during the runtime for some it, it just doesn't work for me uh, but we can go ahead and change those over here also there's a lot of other settings that we can change so how much the snow is how much the rain is how much how bright the sun is how much how bright the day or night is all kinds of loads of loads of loads of different different uh, things that we can edit now one more thing is the water that gets frozen so we can go ahead and bring one into over here let's make this just a little bit bigger so it covers that area over there and let's actually have a look at this so it was super simple to set it up press play we, we heard some birds for a sec but it is actually raining outside and as i told you these effects look really really good so we have our rain we can see the water splashing on the ground and also we can see like these cloudish fogish effects from the rain which looks really really good in my opinion it looks really dope and also on the water we can see the ripple effect now it's very basic but it does the job and we can't really complain with some free assets here we go as you can see day night cycle as well the shadows are moving the sun is changing its position there we go so this looks good there should be some thunder as well for some reason there's no thunder so let's go ahead let's force it let's go ahead and let's change it to always rain and under the rain let's change the thunder wait time to five so we have thunder way more often also i have fps enabled so you can see how it looks there is a little fps drop unfortunately but well with particle effects there's no really other way around it. You are going to lose FPS and I'm running an older graphics card. So if you're having like a... Oh, there is the thunder. If, if you have a newer graphics card, your FPS is going to be way better. So you can hear the thunder. Okay, so that's, that's enough with the rain. Let's disable the rain and let's make sure that it is snowing because the snow is really, really cool. Snow actually has more FPS than the rain. And as you can see, the snow falls on the ground and it has some collision. And it is actually getting pulled forward as well. Which looks really, really good again. There we go. And again, some nice sound effects. It looks pretty, pretty interesting. Now also, another thing is this water will be frozen in a second. So let's wait for it a little bit. The wind is picking up, I assume. There we go. Now the water has been frozen as well. Now it takes a little bit of a time for the water to freeze. But eventually it does if it is snowing. You can see if you look at the water, you can see how it's actually freezing even more and more. So that looks pretty good. Looks somewhat realistic actually. Not too bad, not too bad if there's something close to it. I believe it is still freezing yeah, yeah it's still freezing so it takes takes a bit of time to freeze but in the end it looks pretty pretty good as you can see pretty realistic 
And that's basically it for this system. Now, like I said, there's not a lot of possibilities for us to get a lot of values out of this. If we are using only blueprints or with C++, then well, probably there is a lot of options because then we can go ahead and modify the code quite a bit because this thing is entirely written in C++. There's no blueprint code whatsoever in this. Um, so yeah, go ahead and download this thing, experiment with whatever that we have over here. We have some materials over here available as well throughout this whole thing. Um, it is really, really cool. I really like it. I'm gonna be looking into this a little more um, just so that I can steal some ideas from this thing and maybe someday recreate my own weather system. Um, but for now, yeah, that's going to be it for today's shorter episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see review my opinions on the other free assets that are available uh, for this month, make sure to subscribe because tomorrow there's going to be another episode where we are going to review and have a look at all the other assets. So thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.